The basic thing about the brief in a nutshell was that they wanted educational material for grown-ups. Okay, so it's pretty much reps that need to go sell internationally for Nestle Professional. The goal pretty much was to get the sales force of Nestle Professional up to scratch to get them the best that they can be and be all that they can be to go out and sell the Nestle Professional product. So uh, the, the, the group of people we worked with were half chefs and the other half was marketing and sales people. So it was two very different people. Half the people knew about the industry, but they didn't know how to sell the product. And the other half knew about selling, but they didn't know what was a stock and a, a, all these different types of foods. What the client actually said now to us after winning is um, what she appreciates um, from us as an agency is the strategic input that we give her on her, her projects. Mm. Um, quite complex, uh, a lot of different things and decide which things to highlight, what things to give focus and how to make it interesting and memorable. The overarching concept was quite hard to crack, but sure. we came up with thought for food. We turned the food for thought around because it, it's actually so simple once we've cracked it because it is yeah. all the thinking behind the food, hospitality yeah. and the food industry yeah. and to get um, laymen to quickly fast track themselves to, to understand all of the terminology and the hierarchy um, in that industry. What we did was we took some really complex, intricate information and made it very uh, easy to digest type of information that actually became a lot more fun and entertaining to view and it didn't become a... Uh, I'll call it swim through peanut butter type of information. It was actually fun and people wanted to interact with the information on all the various platforms from print to motion to games and however. One of the key things probably, and there was many, but that chefs are wonderfully interesting people, but they're not the easiest group of people. They are difficult to get into. They've got a very strong click that you need to get into. So if you're sending a either a mediocre or an uninformed salesman into that environment, he's going to come out with fire on his bum, so he's not going to do well. So we really gave him the ammunition to go in and do the job and, and do the sell. What was also quite challenging was that it had to be global. So yeah. a French person had to relate to it or somebody in America or somebody in South America. So we had to get a visual language going that would cross all those cultural and language um, borders and barriers. The core of it was about 30 or so training manuals for um, the training force. And then with it came the other collateral, um, like direct mailers, informational booklets, etc. Out of the 32, we then picked uh, a few of them, the more important ones, and those we pushed a bit further with digital animation, interaction, um, games, etc. It's gone very well. Our clients come back with amazing feedback and um, we're going back soon to Switzerland to get our second brief, so it couldn't have been too bad. <laughs> the interesting thing <laughs> that, that I also realised was um, the client's so happy that she did win an award and um, that it actually does bring in more business. Uh, based on the awards that we've won for them, they are excited with us and are going to brief us on more projects. So, yeah, creativity sells. <laughs> Yeah, it makes money.